everybody. It's so good to see you. We have a really good fun project tonight <clears throat> with a adorable ghost from Unique in the Creek. So that's what we're going to be working with today. And we'll give people a couple of minutes to come on in here and then I'll show you exactly what we're going to be looking for or what we're going to be working with. So make sure you say hi when you come in. Hello, Sharota, how are you? I know you're one of the uh, first peoples on here when we come on, so thank you for tuning in really quick. And Margaret's on. Hey, Miss Margaret. Good to see you, too. Happy Tuesday, everybody. And Tina's on. Hi, Miss Tina and Alicia. Yeah, come on in, you guys. Join the party for tonight for about an hour or so. It'll take us about an hour, I think, to put this together. Maybe a little less. We won't keep you too long. Miss Diane's on. Hello, everybody. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. Um, we are going to be using the oval board, as you can see right here, and we're going to be using some black pipe cleaners, as you can see right here, and we're going to set it up just a little bit different today, and look how cute this is. This ghost came from Unique in the Creek. Now, I got this separate. Um, Lori had this on its own, and she did have this that came in a kit. I bought each because I love this ghost so much. I got one of each because I wanted to make sure I had enough ghosts to do enough projects. <laughs> so this is, I'm not using the kit, okay? But I am gonna use partials of the kit. I'm gonna use some of the ribbon that she had in the kit. So um, we are going to be using this beautiful ghost. So, so cute, I love him. And then we're gonna be using, like I said, this oval board. Um, if you want, take a screenshot of how I've got it set up because we're only gonna use 10 pieces of mesh, you guys. So this is gonna be a little bit different than what we usually use because usually we're gonna use 20 pieces, right? We go from here to here to here, zigzag. But you can see I have it just a little bit different here where we are gonna be using one, one and a half, right? These are the ones that we're gonna be using every other one. All right, so we're gonna use that. We're also gonna be using some of this ombre mesh. Now this ombre mesh, you guys, I got a long, long time ago. And I'm thinking it was from Craft Outlet, I'm not sure, but I think it was. And it's just kind of cool. It has all the colors that I need. It's got the orange, it's got the lime green, and it's got the purple in here. So I really like this for part of my project today. And the reason that I'm using this is we're gonna be using some of this, I call this window pane. Now it's called other things on the sites. I had this in my stock and I wanted to use it because it's this perfect green for um, Halloween. And so we're gonna be using this. So the reason I'm using two types of mesh is as you can see that this is very, you can see right through this, right? We see right through that and we can't have that. So what I did, just like last time we did a wreath a couple weeks ago, I took this one and put it under this one. So we kind of have a double, right? We got a double do here. So you can see all these beautiful colors through here. And then I would burn <clears throat> these together. Okay, I, I hot, hot, hot tooled this together like I did last time. If you're wondering how to burn these together, watch my video from two weeks ago when I did that little flower girl. That's exactly what I did is I burned these two together. So that's the mesh we're gonna do. And I cut these at, I think 12 inches I burned these. Let me see if I burn, oh, it looks like a tenner. Let me see what I got here. I burned that at 12 inches, yep. So we're gonna have 10 of these together at 12 inches a piece, right? 10 at 12 inches. And then what I did, we're gonna use, a, we're gonna use um, more of this and we're gonna do 10 of them at 10 inches. So I got 10 pieces at 12 inches and I got 10 pieces at 10 inches, all right? And I'll show you how we're gonna use that a little bit afterwards. All right, now, what else are we gonna be using? I'm gonna be using this boo sign. Now, if you were lucky, hey, Laura, if you were one of the lucky ones and got one of Lori's kits, um, this boo sign was in the kit, right? But I'm saving this for another project. So I have this one that I've had forever, you guys, and it's just styrofoam. I'm gonna use this smaller boo on our um, frame today. And I do have, um, we're also going to be using some um, some of these scatter filler things here, right? You know how we get these scatter filler things, right? These are from Hobby Lobby. A whole bunch of those. We're going to be using some of those. 
and we might be using a few other things and I'll sh let me show you the ribbon this was from unique of the creek you guys this this really is to die for i just love this one and a half i went back in to buy more and it was sold out so you guys make sure that you look every day on unique in the creek because she's always getting new stuff in and if you don't pounce on stuff like this you ain't gonna get it i'm just saying so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for all the stuff um, that she's got coming in new because you're gonna you're gonna want to own some of this okay this did come in the kit and now I'm using it from the kit so I'm going to use some of this today and this also came in the kit love this this is just sweet and adorable you guys I love this so boo two and a half inch we're gonna be using that that also came from unique in the creek and I think she's out of this I think this is sold out hey there brushes how you doing and the other two that I have, that I've had in my stock for a while, in my stash, I've had this in my stash for a while, so we're going to be using some of this. It's a two and a half large dot um, ribbon. And I did put a substitute on there, I think, you guys, for this large dot. Lori's got an orange ribbon with a little mini polka dot on the side that can be substituted for this easy. And then we've got some of this has wonderful colors in it. And this was gotten a long time ago from God only knows where. I don't know. But I'm going to use some of this. All right, so those are our four ribbons that we're going to use today. So let's kind of get going. Let me show you what we're going to do. Very, very simple, you guys. I'm going to make this a simple project today. Hey, Miss Judy. So everybody can do this. If you're a beginner wreath maker um, and new to these boards, I'm going to do something easy for you tonight so that you can kind of get your feet wet using these. And then you can kind of progress from there, okay? So we have these set up. 10 of these black pipe cleaners which you can get from unique in the creek okay and then we've got our double pieces of mesh here is this one of my long ones or not uh, that's my 10 incher and i cut some extra 10 extra 10 inch this is uh let me cut these 10. let me let me see this is 12. okay so we got our 12 incher here so i'm just going to take this so the the um, ombre mesh is on the bottom and this green window pane is on the top of this. So I'm just going to do a ruffle up through here and we're going to place it on our board a little bit different than we usually do, okay? So I'm just going to find my center point and I'm going to ruffle this up just like we usually do. Now if you want to do cruffles, you want to do the, you know, the cruffles, then I'd cut these a little bit longer. All right, I cut these about 16 inches long if you want to do cruffles. So here we have, super easy, right? So we've just got this really easy for anybody that's new. And I'm just going to start at the top here. And instead of putting it side to side like this, right? This is how we usually put these all in. I'm going to turn this this way, up and down, right? So this is the top of my oval. I'm going just like this with this. And so I chose to use the pipe cleaner so that I could maneuver these so that this fit in here just right. And when you put it in, you're going to want to kind of make sure these guys are kind of even, right? So as much on this end as this end, as, you, if, as much as you can, right? So we kind of got a little bit more on that end, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that right just like that. And then these guys are just going to fill in right around just like that. So this is how that looks. Right, so usually we put it in like this, right? Tonight we're putting it in like this. So we're going to need one layer of this all the way around, okay? So this particular method is great. So let's just say I had a half a roll of this mesh here, and I just love it. And I didn't have enough to make 20 pieces for the double rolls like we usually do. This is a perfect method if you're short on one of your favorite meshes or a couple of your favorite ones, then you can always just use this method because we only need 10 pieces, right? Now, if you want to get away from using double, like I did, if you say, look, I don't want to do the double, I don't want to wood burn them together, I just want one piece all the way around, one color all the way around, then you're going to want to get something like this. You're going to want to get something that is not see-through. I pulled this one. Um, this is that wide foil mesh. So you want something that's got a little bit of uh, thickness to it, something that you can't see through. But Lori has a ton of this stuff. Um, you can get the, the wide stripe uh, mesh on, the, on her site that's Halloween-ish. And, um, and lots of other colors and styles of mesh on there. So just go look. If you don't want to use two, pick up one thing that's thicker 
and away you go. You won't have to use two of them, okay? All right, so let's just kind of get through that. Let's do that same thing all the way around. And again, I'm just going to ruffle this up in the middle, ruffle it up, and bring it alongside in here and put it in just like that. I might have cut this 10 inches. <laughs> I think I cut some of these 10 inches. I don't know. Looks like I, looks like I might have. Anyways, all right, so, and then these are just going to kind of go right over each other, so you're not going to be able to see the board. We're going to fill in enough here, and we're going to fill in enough out here where you're not going to be able to see the board at all, okay? So this goes really, really fast. Once you get going, just ruffle this right up. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And then if you want, you can see if you've got your edges about right here. And if I don't, I just move my finger to make, make it correct. And then when you get it in here, just open up your pipe cleaner so that it accepts it this way instead of the other way. Look how pretty this is. Right? Look how pretty that is. Isn't that great? And then if you see some board, you just take these little people and you just pull it right over the side. Right? We're going to make sure there's, there's no board showing there. And we're going to be putting some other stuff on top of this. So that's why I like to use the pipe cleaners on this, because not only do we have ribbon, but I've got some other things I want to add to this as well. Alrighty. And we'll just crunch these right up. And this is something, you guys, too, that is not going to be super thick. And you'll probably be able to fit this one through um, on, your store, on your door, in between two doors because it's going to have a, a smaller profile, a thinner profile. But look how beautiful, look how beautiful these colors are together. Pretty cool, huh? I just love that. Really, really pretty. And we've got our nice white ghost that's going to pop right off this thing here. We have quite a contrast going tonight with this white ghost. So, and we are going to be using some flex tubing tonight, you guys. We are going to use it because I've got some pulled because I think it's going to need some flex tubing. I keep forgetting and wanting to put this in the old way as opposed to this way. <laughs> you know, old dog, new tricks, right? There we go. But I just love this. And then just spread these out so that everybody's kind of crossing over one another. And these are 12 inches long. These right here are 12 inches. And you can cut them 14 if you want to. There's enough mesh to cut these 14 inches plus do, plus do these other curls that I'm going to show you. Okay? So there's enough for that. Stick that. Oops, there I go again. Yep, that's right. Sticking it right in there. I'm going to say, sticking it in wrong, but I got it right. And this should go fairly quickly for you all. Just like that. All right. And again, only 10 pieces. Like, that's really good. Oh, yeah. So how's everybody doing? We're all good here. We're in Florida. So we, uh, we where I live, did not get impacted much by the storm. We got some wind. We got some rain. Lots of palm fronds down, but that's about it. Nothing major. All right, let's get this in here so I can position my pipe cleaners differently to put this stuff in here. And you can see some of this hangs over the edge just a little bit here. It's okay. It's just fine. If some hangs over the edge, no problem. It just gives it a little more color, in my opinion. Just a little more color. So again, an easy peasy design for people that are fairly new to the Unique in the Creek boards. But I'm going to tell you, once you get going on these boards, you're going to be hooked because they're so easy to use. Hey Judy! Yes, I put it on my page that I'd be live on Unique in the Creek tonight, so thank you for joining me. Absolutely. The more the merrier, right? Get this in here. Okay. It's like that. I love that. All right. We got two more pieces to go here. 
and then our base is done, right? Two more pieces, and then our base is done. Yes, I know, Nancy. Isn't the mesh really cool? So if any of you have what I call the window pane, now it's called something else on the website, this, this mesh right here. It's called something else, but um, Lori, it was either white or like a silver that she had um, that you could easily use for this project and then add a real pretty color underneath it. So um, go grab some of this on the website. Just something a little bit different, you know. I just, I love the effect that it has here. All right, last one. Last one right here. Hey, Marty. And you see, it depends on which way you put it. So this end has the purple sticking out, and this end has the orange sticking out. So it just depends which one you want to show and it doesn't matter to me so remember we put these all in opposite of what we usually do all of them are opposite and then just make them pretty now if you wanted to you can stop right here and you can start putting your ribbon on but I decided to do one other little thing on here and I'll show you what I'm going to do just to kind of beef it up just a little bit but look how pretty that is right and when you see this in person you can really see these colors shine through here it's really really pretty all right so then we're going to use our we're going to be using our ghost that's our ghost all right so I've made these up ahead of time the only thing I did with this you guys again I put a 10 by 10 here um, I'm going to zip tie and I did use a black zip tie. So 10 by 10, and we're just gonna do a curl. We're just gonna curl this up, take it from here and just curl it. You know how to roll it. You all know how to do these curls, right? Roll it, roll it, roll it, 10 by 10. And then I just turned it like that. And I used a zip tie because um, I made these ahead of time and I didn't want the um, rubber band to snap. And I also think it just is easier this way using a zip tie. So if you zip tie that in like that, and tie it nice and tight, and I just try to make sure these are kind of even, no big deal, just that, and then just clip this edge off here. And we're gonna add these right, and you'll need 10 of these. So 10 by 10, you'll need 10 of them. And we're gonna add them right on top of what we have here, okay? So I'm just gonna take this, and this part is gonna face out out toward you okay so start anywhere it doesn't matter you can either untie your pipe cleaner or leave it like it is I usually like to untie my pipe cleaner to add more stuff and they can just add that right in on top of that and that kind of just gives you just an add, another added layer of interest is really all it is you guys but like I said if you don't want to do this and you just want to stay with this go right ahead because it looks fine that way okay so you're going to take this face it out toward you you want these tails out kind of like ribbon and then we're going to um, I, I undo this and then put this right in and also when you use the zip tie on here it helps to um, it just helps to secure it a little bit all right so that's that and we're going to go all the way around because we have them all made Okay, and I'm just gonna go around and put these guys in. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't made a wreath just with this one row before, so let's see how we're see how this turns out together. I think it's gonna turn out really well, but we'll see together what we think, and then you'll say, hey, I'm gonna do it like that because number one, it uses less mesh. Number two, I'm running low on the mesh I love, and number three, I kinda like it. Or you're gonna say, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the old way. You guys pick what you what you like. You know, we're just trying to show you different ways to put wreaths together. So we're gonna explore just a little bit. I like that. I think that looks really good. And I know everything's blendy blendy right now, but it's not gonna be once I get those once I get those ribbons on here. And you guys wait till you see how the ghost pops. 
The ghost is going to come right off this wreath. I'm telling you right now. Oh, and, and in the end, you guys, when I'm done with this, um, there's been a lot of uh, chatter about the last uh, pedal that I made. I called it the um, canoe pedal. I'm going to show you again how to do that. So if you all were interested in that canoe pedal, um, stay tuned, and I'll show you how we do that one more time when I'm done with this project. And uh, Jackie Blewett uh, used it the other day, yesterday, on her project. And you all had some questions, so I thought that I would um, jump on in here and show you guys how to do it. Okay, I'm missing one right here, so let me see what I got here. What am I got? There we go, hiding amongst all my stuff. Right in here. All right, so there's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our ribbon. So this is the ribbon. So this is what I've chosen to put together. So I've chosen these two. Hey, Lynn. So this is uh, 14 inches and 14 inches. This is two and a half inches wide, one and a half inches wide. All right, so let's put these, let's start making this look like, you know, little color contrast here, right? So the way that I like to do this, you guys, is I like, let me bring you guys down just a little bit. All right, I like to take this here, and then I like to take this edge and line it right up in the middle across here, just like this, all right? So you're gonna wanna line these ends up the best you can and then line it right up in the middle here. And then I just like to crunch it like that. And that's what we get right there. Right, and now we're gonna put it in here. And again, start wherever you like. You can start wherever you like. So I'm gonna undo this again and put this right on top of there and just like that. All right, and that's what that's gonna be. Okay, so see we're starting to break up some colors now in here. We got it, we've added some orange in here, which we needed, right? Now, when I get done with this, I'll decide what color flex tubing we need yet again to have another pop of color on this. All right, I like to save the flex tubing to the end because I like to see what kind of colors are we lacking? How do we need to make this come together more? So that's why I, why I leave that to the end and then I'll decide which colors I want. All right, and then we're gonna take this the same thing. So we got the boo at 14 inches and then we have this stripe as well at 14 inches. And these guys are going to just come right down like that, line them up and ruffle, pinch it, pinch it. Not ruffle it, just pinch it. Just like that. And we're gonna put in our very next one. So this is gonna be quite, these are pretty close together, so they're gonna have a pretty big impact on our uh, wreath design here. Thank you, Margaret, thank you. And you can arrange these any way you want, you guys. If you wanna take these and kind of put these in the middle, you can do that. If you wanna alternate, so, we, so we'll have this one, this one, and then move the two and a half over just like that. You can have that. I like my one and a half in the middle of my two and a half. That's just how I do mine. Um, but it's really up to you guys how you want yours to look. Okay? How you want yours to look. And then we're just going to, so you only need 10 of each, right? Easy peasy. We just need 10 of each because that's what we're, that's what we're using. So you've got plenty if you have a roll of uh, ribbons, you'll have plenty of ribbon to use on other projects because, you know, 10 pieces as opposed to the 20 pieces that we usually use on the board, right? So this is gonna be so great. This is gonna be so great when I'm done, you guys, because that this guy is gonna pop right off this wreath like there's no tomorrow. He's gonna say, here I am. Yep, I'm pop right up. Now this comes out to be pretty big, you guys. So we're starting out with, I'm off the board here. So I've got 23 inches. This is probably gonna come out to be about 25 inches from uh, top to bottom. And from side to side, we're probably gonna be about, oh, 21, 22 inches. Yep, so it's gonna be fairly, uh, fairly good size here. Fairly good size. 
And it's so much fun for Halloween. How fun is this for Halloween, you guys? I gotta be honest with you. This is just a fun project right here. And you guys, if you have grandkids around, this would also be great for them. I think they could do this. I really do. I think our grandkids can do this. Try to lift this up over a little bit here. Gives it a little oompa, oompa loompa here. Okay. Oh, my thing's playing tricks on me over here. <laughs> playing tricks on me. Alrighty, same thing. Find the middle and scrunch it right up there. If you can't find the middle, fold your ribbon in half, you guys, and then scrunch it up, okay? How gorgeous this is. I did not make the ghost. The ghost came from Unique in the Creek, you guys. This came from Unique in the Creek. She sold out, and I'm so sorry that she sold out, you guys. I got this weeks ago, and... um. I'm so sorry that I'm using something that sold out, but I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to use that ghost on my live. And like I said, make sure you watch the, the website because when she posts this stuff, it's awesome stuff. And if you don't jump on it and you're not aware, then you're going to miss out. And, you know, Lori says FOMO is real, and she's right. You fear of missing out because then you're like, oh, dang, I should have got it. I should have got it. So keep an eye out, because she's always getting some new stuff in. So she always announces when she gets new stuff in. 14-inch uh, 14 14 inch ribbon tails. 14-inch ribbon tails. Yep. And I think I might have cut these 13, but it doesn't. I didn't cut them both 14, both 13, both 14 inches. That's what I would suggest. You're welcome. You're very welcome. And I like to tie my my pipe cleaners right down, you guys. I like to tie them down really tight when I make my stuff. All right, so we're getting there, right? We're getting around. So we've only got one layer. We're not going in with a second layer here, right? We're gonna put other stuff in here to kind of cover up that inner side a little bit. Plus we got our ghost, so. Have, have no fear, we're gonna make sure that this is very well presented. And this is the oval board. If you couldn't already tell, it's the oval board. And you can also put your ribbons on crisscross. Let me show you another way to do your ribbons, you guys. Watch. And it'll fill out maybe more space down there if you want. So you could also take these ribbons. I would put them just like this if you want to fill out a little more space. So I take this across and then I kind of lay this diagonal and I try to make sure that the distance is correct. The middle here, middle here. And then I just start here and I crunch it up. And this kind of makes an X, right? That kind of makes an X. And then you can take this and put it right in here and then these guys can kind of be moved to that direction and this direction so you've kind of got this stuff everywhere I kind of almost like that almost a little bit better right so you kind of got this X sitting in there like that and it would go all the way around as opposed to having them brought this way so that's another way to do it if you want to if you want to get more uh, real estate covered with your ribbons go ahead and crisscross them Try different things, right? And I tie that down really tight. Get that going. And we might be adding a bow to this. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm gonna see how this works out uh, when I'm done here. But we'll make that decision after we get our ghost on, probably. Pretty that is, right? Love those colors, don't you? And that's our last one. So there's 10 pieces of each going on here. All right, so this is what we have thus far right there. 
So we got this big middle space yet we gotta fix, right? Now, another thing that I want to show you guys, this is from, these are from Unique in the Creek. Let me move this out of the way. These are also, I think these are also from Lori, yep. And, uh, oh no, these are from Craft Outlet. But I had these, and I thought maybe I could use them on these, except for I'm saving these for another project. But they do go with this cup. Alrighty, now let's get our, let's get, um, let's get our ghost ready. Let's get our ghost ready. So let me see here. Uh, no, I'm going to add my flex tubing in. Just so the ghost won't be in the way, we're going to add our flex tubing. Now, you can see there's a lot of green showing here. So what I need to do now with my flex tubing is I need to bring out some purple. And I need to bring out some orange. And I think I'm going to bring out some more white. Because I just think we need that. So here's what I've got. I've got this white, um, this white flex tubing here, which we're going to use. Right? So that's pure white. Now there's like an iridescent white that you can use, but I wanted something that was just a little bit more solid looking. So I'm going to use this. And I'm also going to use uh, this orange. Right? So we've got this really shiny orange in here. So, so far we've got orange and white, and I think I'm going to bring some more purple out. Yep, so we've got orange, white, and purple. That's all I'm going to use on this. I'm going to not use any more black, and I'm not going to use any more um, green. So let's get these guys together and see what we're doing. All right. Let's use this here. And I also have some, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff pulled here. I've got some uh, Halloween um, balls that I could use as well. You know, just to give you guys ideas how to embellish this. Uh, we might be keeping it fairly simple tonight, but then you all can embellish it the way you want. So I've got all three of these colors here, the orange, the white, and the purple, and I just make my loops as big as I think that I want them. I kind of want this pretty loopy tonight. I want this to be real playful, pretty loopy, so I'm going really big, I think, tonight. I think. That's pretty big right there. So just about like that, I think so. And I think I'm going to put it in this way again. I usually do it this way. We're going this way because we went this way with our mesh. And so we're going to do that with this. So we're going to put that in there like that. All right, so that's pretty playful there. And I might be doing every other. I'll have to see because it's a lot It's a lot of, um, maybe that's a little big. I'm going to take it down just a little bit, just a little. I got a little overexcited there, I think. So I'm going to take it down just a little. I'll measure these for you. That looks a little bit better. That's a little bit almost like my normal. And these loops here are about four inches. So four inches here, four inches here, and then that in the middle there. So we'll put this in just like that. And we'll tie that down really well. Okay, so that's what that's going to be. And then we're going to cut it off. And we're going to go to the next one. So I am going to put this on every single one of these. We're going to be building this up to what we want it to be, you guys, right? And I kind of just guesstimate with these when I make them. I, I've been doing it for so much, so long that I, I really don't have to measure much. Um, I'm just going to kind of guesstimate that they're about the same length. And if they're not, it's okay. I mean, you know, this is supposed to be playful, so it doesn't have to be anything real uniform. But that's really going to add some... Um, some more good color to our project, and it's going to take some space up, right? We're also in the business of uh, taking some space up here. So, And I also have those glitter balls. Now, I'm going to leave these long because the glitter balls are going to go on the end of this afterwards. Oh, good. She's found the metallic mesh. Super good. Woohoo! Yep, super good. Go ahead and get your shopping done, you guys. Go get your stuff on Unique in the Creek to make this with. And, and make, make it your own, okay? You don't have to use the exact stuff I have here. Lori has a ton of um, good stuff in there to make something like this with. So go check out your mesh. You know, you instead of the green, you might want the purple, the purple mesh. You might want um, black mesh. You know, whatever it is that you'd like for your colors, you can use, okay? 
how cool this is looking. See how we're filling this in? So look at from here and then here. See the difference that this flex tubing has this side compared to this side? That's what we're doing. We're building this wreath, okay? We're building it. It's kind of, we're, lay, we're layering it. It's kind of like when you get dressed in the day. You know, you're going to put on, you're going to put on your underwear. You're going to put on your shirt. You're going to put on your pants. You're gonna, well, that's what we're doing to this. We're going to layer it so that all of our accoutrements are on here. And uh, it looks pretty. And we put our makeup on you. You're going to put your eyeshadow on. You're going to put your lipstick. We, we're layering our face to make it look pretty, right? <laughs> Hi Joyce, how are you? Yes, 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 yes. Yep, and if you guys do go shopping, if you'd be so kind to use my affiliate link, that's much appreciated. Much appreciated, it helps me out when I go to get my supplies to show you guys how to make these things. All right, so there we go, see? Beautiful, love that. Love that. Okay, we're making our way around here pretty good. And um, you can use jute flex tubing here as well. I did have some black jute pulled, but I decided against it because I didn't want this to be too dark. So I decided not to use the black flex tubing. This is going to be happy, happy. Judy's on. Saying hi to Joyce. One big happy family here, right, you guys? I love that it's one big happy family we get on because we get this, we get a lot of our same people um, coming in to visit, which we love. We love your support. And I hope I'm on YouTube. I don't know, Tina. Am, am I on YouTube? That's going to be an interesting thing to know because I haven't been streaming on YouTube, but that'd be interesting to know if I'm on there. <laughs> I don't know. I can only try. And I got this just a little tangled, but we're getting it out there. There we go. So what I do, I just take this, you guys. I leave about an inch and a half here. I hold that. And then I just pull this up and make my loop as big as I think I want it. That's easiest for me. If you wanted to measure out and then cut all of yours, I'm not on YouTube. Okay, thank you. If you wanted to measure this out and then just make your loops afterwards, that's fine. Cut each individual pieces, that's fine. Um, but um, this is just easiest. Whoops, wrong way. Just easiest for me. We'll have to get that straightened out, the YouTube stream things. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, we got one more to do, and then we're gonna see what our next step is gonna be. Like I said, I have some other accoutrements that I might add, but then again, I might be just happy with the way this is like this, because I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. So there's that. So there is with the flex tubing. Pretty good, right? These are our pipe cleaners, which we're going to fix here in just a minute. Now, what I also have is um, I had some of this stuff from the Dollar Tree. It's a Halloween sparkly black and gray that I thought I might put in here, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm not going to add, I don't think, anything else on this. I think it's time now to add my ghost. So let me find the top of this because I am always noted for putting things on upside down. So we will find the top of this, which is up here. So this is the top up here. So my ghost is going to sit right here. So see how beautiful that kind of filled in, right? How pretty that is, that filled in. And we're going to put him right in the center, really. Now, he does have these things on him. Now, Michelle from Monkey's Creations decided that she was going to take these off and use a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to follow suit because it's so much easier to put these guys on when you have something more flexible like a pipe cleaner. So I'm going to take these off 
And I'm going to follow her lead because I think that was a marvelous idea. And we're going to put these guys in here, right? And you guys, if, it, if you can't get it through, which I probably can't, find yourself um, a tool. I've got this little pick thing here. I got this little pick thing here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this right through just to maybe make the hole just a little bit bigger for my stuff to go through. All right. There we go. So there's that. So it's not really too hard. So there's that through there. And I'll even these out and then I'll just twist this. Hey, Bevlin, how are you? And he's got three, one, two, three. So we'll just do that on all of them. And I tell you, I save these because I have been able to use these wires, you all, for other things. So they're, And they're pretty flexible. I like that these are flexible. So I save those and I use them for other stuff. I don't throw much away because you just, you never know, you know. This is pretty easy to get through here, actually. Do a little surgery on this guy and he'll be perfect here in just a minute. There we go, so this is in, right? And then I'm just gonna line them up and then I'm gonna give this a twist so that they don't come out, right? You don't want these to come out, so give it a couple twists. And then we've got one more right here in his other arm. I just love that this is kind of ragamuffin-y. These are almost like, they almost look a little like feathers. They're not feathers, but they look a little like it. They're just adorable. If you were lucky enough to get one of these from uh, Unique in the Creek. Lucky you guys. If not, they're sold out, and I am sorry about that. But I had to use them. You know, you can't have something like this and not use them because these way too cute. All right, get in there, baby. Don't give me a hard time. No, this one's going to give me a hard time because he just is. But I'm going to fix it. Okay, almost. Uh, uh. Come on, if I can get them through one side, I can get them out the other end. Come on. This thing goes through great. Make the hole just a little bit bigger. Well, look at this. Can you believe you all that this isn't going to work out? Well, let me, let me get a little snipper. I got these little snipper scissors, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little little, little something here. There's more than one way to do it. There we go. Hello, hello. It's the second side that's being a bear. Come on, get in there. Sorry, you guys. Using up half my lifetime but getting this guy through here. Isn't that funny? We got him. I got a needle and I should have used my needle. We got him. He's good to go. We got him. Okay, so we pulled some stuffing out on that one. <laughs> eh, poor guy. All right, we got him up. So now we're going to get him on the roof. Let's pull the top. Here's the top. The top is up this way, so this guy is going to go down here. And again, so easy to put on, you guys, because we have our we have our um, our holes right in there. Now I'm probably going to go through the mesh, you all, because um, it's just going to be easier that way. I think just to go through my mesh. So let's see what I can do. I'm, I might get the needle out for this. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, we're going to get the needle out. Let me grab my needle. Let's see, my bag of tricks over here. What do I got? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me grab, hang on one second, you guys. Let me grab my needle. Oh, let's see, what do I got here? Here we go. Yeah, I got it. 
it's in my little it's in my little tool tool chest up there. So here it is. This is what I have. And that's what we're gonna use. All right, so there's that. That pulls through beautifully. I should have done that a long time ago. That pulls right through. Uh, the Ghost is from Unique in the Creek, but as I was saying earlier, you guys, I sold out. Um, I bought it a bit back ago. Um, so, you know, she sells out kind of quickly here. All right, so there's that guy. And quite frankly, you guys, you can probably um, just... You could probably put one at the top and one at the bottom. You probably don't need these. In fact, I think I'm going to skip these after I got them in there and just use top and bottom. I don't think he needs to be tied down like this, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see what we got. But that is an option just to do a top and a bottom tie down. And now let's put the needle on this one and put this one through. Okay, let's get him underneath here. It's still like, you know, put this in through the dark, right? So there's one down. So that's one side down. And then we just gotta do the other arm and we're good to go. There's that one, and then we just got this guy. And we'll put this through here, get him through the thing here, through the hole. There we go, got him. Woo! That one went any easier. Let's get the other side of this one through here. All right, so he's all attached now, so what we're going to do is we're now going to put our glitter ball. So these are called scatter fillers. These are from Hobby Lobby, and you can find these um, right now. They're Well, they don't sell Halloween anymore, but they sell fall. You can probably sell see these in the fall section if you can. Um, or they're in the party section. So I've got black, I've got purple, and I've got orange in the green. So I'm probably going to use all of these. They do come in different sizes. I'm going to try to use the bigger ones that I can find here. You can see the sizes are different. I'm going to be using these, all right, the best I can. So I'm just going to pull, you know, half dozen of each of these. And I'm going to put the lid back on. The lid here came from the Dollar Tree to store these in, you guys. And if I didn't put the lid on, I would literally have these all over. These would be all over my desk. And then we're going to take these out and also use these. Now, these ones come a little bit different. Can you see the difference in these? He's kind of got these things on them. Can you see that? This one's a little bit different, but I'm going to use this one because they're easier to put uh, on the pipe cleaners. So I'm going to get about a half a dozen of these out. I don't know how many I need, but I'll get a half a dozen out of these. And then if we need more, we can always come back in and grab them. All right, so I'm going to get some of all my colors that I'm representing here. Now, you don't have to have some of every color. If you want to just use all black or all purple or all green or whatever, you can do that. It's just I have these on hand, so I'm going to use them. Now these black ones are much smaller and I don't have anything bigger, so I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to use the size that I have, I think. Maybe I won't use black at all, I'll have to, I'll have to see because they're not big, so I'll have to make that decision. When I start putting these on, I'll make the decision if I'm going to use these black ones or I'm not, okay? It's probably no, not a big deal. Um, what other color did I do? I didn't do the green, so I put this back without getting the green out of here. So we need to get some green. These are nice. Look how nice these are. Okay, so 
we're going to put these on the ends of our um, we're going to put these on the ends of our pipe cleaner. So what after you're done with this the flex tubing, you're going to want to give this a twist three or four times to make sure it's secure. And then depending on how high you want these to stick up, I don't want these to stick up that high. So I'm going to clip these down probably to about from here up to here about an inch or so. So I'm just going to clip them off. So I clipped that much off and then I've got this much riding here and then I'm just going to be alternating my color. So I'm just going to go some orange here, some purple, like I'm going to just go orange, purple, green, black, orange, purple, green, black. If you want, you can put two oranges, two green, two purple, two black, whatever you guys want to do. Totally up to you, but I like to mix them up just a little bit. And you can position these wherever you want because they're on pipe cleaners, and the pipe cleaners will definitely move where you want them to go. Okay, so I'm going to run around this way, and I'm going to twist these up three or four times, cut them all off about the same length, right? I want these kind of cut off, so um, purple, orange, and then I'll do green. And they'll go right on there just like they are, you guys. This pipe cleaners will go right in through these. So if you hold this and then you hold your pipe cleaner up pretty close to the edge and it'll go on really easy just like that. If you have your pipe cleaner and you put it like this, gener well generally these end up falling over like that. So I try to hold it up here and then put it in there like that. So when you're putting it on here, that's what you're going to want to do, all right? So run them around, purple, green, purple, orange, green, and black. So we've got a purple, an orange, and then down here we're going with green and black. Once I twist these off, okay, so we've got a green. And then we got, we are using our little black here. No big deal, we'll use that little black one. And then we'll go to the next one with purple, orange, green, and black. Okay, for these scatter balls. Purple, orange, and here's some green and black. Let's see if I can get you guys down here a little bit better. This is going to be the green and the black. I'm going to just separate these pipe cleaners out and put these on. All right, and again, you can separate them if you want. You can move them wherever you think you want to move them. Totally up to you guys. They're very versatile. And if you had white, you could use white too, I guess, if you wanted to. I do have white. I chose not to. Purple, orange. And I've got a tag here on Mr. Ghost, so we're going to take the tag off, right? We don't need a tag. There we go. And don't forget to twist your pipe cleaners a few times just to make sure that everything's secure on there, okay? So we've got a green and one of our blacks. And I'm going to go right down here. And again, you can have these standing as tall as you want them. They can be up as tall as you want these pipe cleaners to be. And green and black, these are our last two right here. And then we're gonna put our sign on him. And I might be making, I don't know if we're making any bowls or not. Uh, I need a uh, purple, orange, I need a green. And a black and a black there we go so we've got all these on here so we got all of our glitter balls I call them glitter balls or scatter fillers whatever 
All right, that looks good. So this is what we have so far. This is what we've got so far with, with our ghost. Okay, so now what I want to do, again, if you have this sign from Lori, she had this in her kit, you can put this right across here if you want. Right? But I'm going to use this because, I, like I said, I've had this forever, and I don't even know where I got it, but I've had it forever. And it's smaller, and it's a foam. So I'm going to probably use this. Get this off it here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to put it right, I'm probably going to put it at an angle, I think. So I'm going to turn this toward me so I can get an idea of how this is going to look. Otherwise, I'll probably totally mess this up. <laughs> and i got to decide if I want it probably, I don't know, I kind of like it like that. Well, maybe like that. And I'm probably going to glue this down, you guys. I think that's going to be the best way to do this is just to glue this down. Um, I kind of like it right in the center of him. I like that quite a bit. And so I think this is the way it's going to look just at a little bit of an angle, just kind of like that. I think that's how it's going to look. You could have it up in, near his hand, but I don't like that. It's going to go down here. So we're going to glue that down. Let's glue this down at an angle. And he'll be absolutely adorable, right? I don't know if it should be straight. Maybe it should just be straight because I think I'm going to keep it straight, y'all. I'm going to keep it straight. So I'm going to just glue here all the back of this, the O. I'm gluing the back of the O because that's going to have the most contact, I think. Yeah, most of it's going to be contacted. So, all right. You got to get it right. I am going to put it on a little angle. Boom! Right there. <laughs> Boom! Set it down. Set her down. Get that contact there. And that's going to that's gonna stay beautifully because this stuff attracts that glue, which is perfect. Alright, there's that. I think this is going to be done, you all. I'm pretty sure this is going to be it for this because I don't want to overdo it because I think he's just perfect the way he is. Curious. I'm going to I'm gonna stand up. I'm going to put my camera up and then I'll stand it up and show you, okay? Let's see what we got. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Wait just a second, you guys. Before I show you this, before I show you this, I told you I'd show you how to make that the um, that pedal before I show you. So this is how I make my, my boat pedal. This is a 10 by 10, right? And then just have your finished edge, finished edge. And then I just pull this down like that. This is what I call the boat pedal. And it's kind of, uh, it's a, it's a, um, kind of like your, um, lolly, your lolly pedal. All right, so you've got that. So what I'm going to do is just pinch this, pinch this, this one, and then fold this one in. Pinch, pinch, fold. All right, this is looking a little wonky. It's a little wonka wonka. Yeah, I'm a little wonka wonka. All right. This is a fabric mesh, so hang on. This is a fabric and it's not playing correctly. So hold on just a minute here. I don't think I cut it properly, but let's just see here. All right, so that, 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 pinch, pinch, and pinch. Okay, so that's like the lolly pedal, right? So lolly pedal right there. Right? And then what I did is I took a rubber band. 
Alright, so just take one of your Unique in the Creek rubber bands here. But first we're going to cut this tail off because you know we don't need no tail that big, right? Way too big. And then we take one of our rubber bands and we put it around here, this bottom, like that. So you're basically going to make a lolly petal, which looks like that. And then you're going to just take this and stretch it. Stretch that just like that. And you're going to pinch this top probably about a half inch. And you're going to glue, and bring it even closer, you're going to glue one of the sides here. And you're going to pinch it as far down as you want. So you're going to pinch that right down like that. And I like to take one of my clips from Unique in the Creek and pinch it there. And that is the boat pedal. 